Hey up, it's Bobby Robbo. Not to be confused with Nobby Styles. Turnstiles are a Freemason. Speaking of which, today I am looking at Freemasonry in Wigan. Or am I? The agents at my door suggest I am. Typically there are 33 steps in the Freemason hierarchy. Though I have not counted them personally, I have it in good faith that this stairway in the town centre is made up of 33 steps and leads to a secret meeting lodge behind the Pound Bakery. Security here is tight in order to protect the Mason's extracurricular activities such as karate, giant chess and twister. There are also lots of hidden codes that can be found in plain sight. This street is so secret, its name can only be read through secretly issued glasses. On the same road we can find what happens to be a group of traffic lights. In fact they contain a secret set of codes. A red light means the pound has dropped in value. An amber light tells us a civil servant has just been shot. And a green light indicates a terrorist attack. If you see a red and amber light together, it is a warning that Dave Whelan has cramp and requires ice. Hidden cords can also be communicated by Freemasons themselves. For instance, Richard Ashcroft of The Verve and Richard Ashcroft can be seen displaying the secret master fist gesture David Sharner has just agreed a child swap with the referee using the entered apprentice handshake. And Stuart McCorner can be seen using the sacred stag, a well-known Illuminati door. Rituals are commonplace here. On September the 4th every year, a local whore must offer herself to traders at Wigan Market to replicate Mary Magdalene's transactions in the stalls of Ephesus. Meanwhile, at the Victoria Hotel, Hundreds of Freemasons gather to feast on the sacrificial lamb. This man has not eaten enough of the delicious animal protein and has been given a blood filter to chew on in the corner of the room. Interestingly, the hotel lies at the centre of a ley line. If we join surrounding ley lines together, we can clearly see the foot of the Lamb of God. Although some believe it is the nose of former rugby star Andy Farrell. I've been Bobby Robbo. Get over it.